here at the 50th Band Nationals in Sterling, Colorado, and there are so many unique, cool vans. And I met these guys and I saw their van and I just had to do this van tour like that, sliding piece glass window, opening to the, the door to the bedroom is one of the coolest features I've ever seen. And I just think you guys did a great job Thank on you. this conversion. Thank you. Hi, I'm uh, Chad Woolley and this is my wife, Amanda Woolley. We're from Mayfield, Kentucky. I was gonna show you my van. It's a 93 G20, named reeling in the year from Steely Dan. I put in a 1979 Corvette seats in it for a little more comfort and plus you don't see many vans with these seats in it so i like to be different i cut over to show the motor and uh, also i needed a little extra room come here in the back i've got a painting up here of the uh, 1976 boston album cover and we got a little black light led to show it at night time I have uh, a couple extra seats for a couple of friends if we want to ride. Those are some low seats. Those are some low seats. <laughs> and they, it's also a great step if you want to sit up in there and put your feet up there. Right. You can also use it multi-purpose, I guess. You have a unique feature on this van that I have never seen before. Will you tell me about that? Port, is it a porthole window? What do yeah. you call that? I just call it a, a, a door to the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> well, it's the coolest bedroom door I've yeah. ever seen in a van. Yeah, it, it's powered so we can open it up and get to the back. Flip a switch and uh, the piece sign opens up for me. I got my turntable in here for more music. I've got a flat screen hid behind a mirror because we didn't have flat screens in the 70s, so that kind of hides it. And, but if we want to see something, watch a concert in it, we can do that with the stereo. I've got a 2000 watt custom stereo system that I installed in it because that's what I do. I built some heart-shaped speaker pods in the back for the, for the rear surround. I like how you're combining a little peace and love in your van. <laughs> yeah, the front speaker's here. I made speaker pods where they, they just look built into the dash, but that gives me my sound because I do car audio, so I want it to sound really good when we're driving because that's pretty important to me. Yeah. <laughs> Will you show me the bedroom? Okay. We'll come around to the bedroom here. We've got uh, the Led Zeppelin poster that was real popular when they when they were in the in the States by their by their big Led Zeppelin jet. We've got some matching Led Zeppelin pillows to make it look good. Uh, of course you gotta have some kind of fur in here for the 70s. We do have some LEDs that will change colors if I want a different mood set back here we can do that like what kind of moods oh just relaxing moods <laughs> the the vinyl i used here is like snake skin so it's not just a, a basic look I, I wanted a little extra cool look to it this is where we, we keep uh, spare parts. Of course, right now it's because we have slept in our van for 10 days, and so we have to have a place to put everything. So we got plenty of room for all of our goodies, dual, dual batteries in the back. That's a good little story. So it's, uh, it's worked out pretty good. Talk about under the hood here. I've got 400 horse, uh, 5.3, some polished parts here instead of plastic for your uh, water bottle and uh, overflow, all polished electric fans and also made my um, intake uh, kind of tie-dye colored just for a little little fun and of, funky. Of course you did. Yeah. Right, so how long have you owned this van and what was it like when you first got it? I've owned it for I believe five years. It was a it was a white van I found online for eighteen hundred dollars. What? Carolina. In North Carolina. It was cost seven hundred dollars to have it shipped so I got I had twenty five hundred dollars in it. Uh, when I got it home, it had a, a painter's rack on top and uh, hubcaps and uh, nothing inside the van, just completely just a shell. That's awesome. With been working on it for the last how long? Three and a half years. He painted it, did all the body work. Uh, you know, he shaved uh, uh, the fender here for a power antenna that comes up right here. And of course, he is really an awesome painter. So he, he did all the custom uh, 70s painting and freehand on, on the lettering. Me and Brad had talked about it 
and I kind of left it up to him because he just knows how to do that stuff. And so uh, I just let him kind of have a hand at it. He, he knew he saw 70s stuff uh, with, you know, the different infinite lines and, and he just, I, I let him use his creativity on it. Girl, it's there red. My oh, hair's all here funky. All right, well, going up. You know this is going to be a blooper at the end now, right? <laughs> 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 so it's not kind of. Uh, 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 it was a. It was a. Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Uh, we had a. Uh, 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 us. Uh, um, um, so he was. He was. Uh, and. Um. um uh, I, uh, and, um, and, uh, 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 maybe four, uh, and, uh, uh, probably, uh, uh, um, um, so he's, he, he, all right, whenever you're ready. Uh, I'm Chad Woolley. This um, is my Amanda Woolley. <laughs> do it again. Are, are, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, no, I'll let you do it. I won't say anything. I'll let you do it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm here at the 50th. I don't want to say so. <clears throat> I say that a lot. Um, uh, motor, which comes in your new gyms nowadays. Uh, I got a cup myself. Um, the and the bowls and everything where you can actually see hidden cover here on the end where the battery is, is it is in the but I did the cover to make it look a little cleaner. Uh, of course you. Uh, uh, 